Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a fun video for you guys. I will be doing the $4 grab boxes from Michaels um, and I will try to run through them quickly because I, I have four boxes. I only purchased four. Um, a little disclaimer, I did go through the boxes and I saw everything that we had. Um, I purchased them I want to say Thursday and Friday of last week. Uh, over the weekend, I didn't get a chance to upload a video or to film it, and I couldn't wait. I was, it's like putting candy in front of a kid and telling them not to touch it. That's how it was for me. So I went through the boxes. Um, I wasn't too disappointed. There's some stuff in here that I would definitely lose, use next year. Some I will be donating uh, and, you know, upcycling or whatever happens with them um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the biggest the, the most stuffed box uh, they are repetitive items in here a lot so I went to two different Michaels uh, to get these boxes so the first box is I've got this big sign it was sitting right next to it they didn't they couldn't fit it in a box because it's pretty big so they put it right next to it and they said it comes with a box so I took it now it says salt, flour, sugar, tea, and coffee right there. I don't know. I don't probably will not be using it in my kitchen because it's not my kitchen colors. My colors are uh, pretty much black, white, and blue. So this does not fit my decor, but I will most likely sand it down and upcycle this because it is pretty good size wood. So I really like that and this was $24 I don't know if you guys can see right there so I will probably be telling you guys the original prices as much as I can uh, some of the stuff did not have the original prices so I don't know if um, I can find it uh, and I will enter the grand total of everything um, up here at the end of the video not right now but at the end of the video so I got these pig fingers. They are super, they are cute. I'm not gonna lie, they're cute. But I just feel like their ears are a little too big. They look like almost rabbit pig. That's just me though, I don't know. They look really cute. I like them. So I got two, three, four, five, oops. Seven of them. No, I think I have more. Yeah, I can't. I remember counting more. I have eight of the um, burlap color, which is this, the natural wood color, and then I have one of the pink one right here, uh, which they're cute, and I pretty much, I most definitely will try to incorporate them, incorporate them next year for. Um, Easter, spring, summer DIYs. So, not sure. And then, oh, each of those were $6. Guys, I'm pretty bad with the prices and stuff, so just excuse me if I forget. Um, this one was $6 as well. It's a pretty mushroom. And um, actually, this, I really do like it. I will be sticking it in my um, fairy garden and i don't believe i've shown those that to you guys so i will probably do a show and tell i didn't do a diy because it was pretty complicated for me so um and then i got three of these houses birdhouse looking things and they were also no oh these were five dollars um and i got three of them which is really cute one went right through so lift them up a little bit there you go we got three of those and I got I was excited when I saw this actually I got two pine pews I know they're called pineapples my daughter calls them pine pews um, don't ask me why she's 10 she knows how to say pineapple but she loves saying pine pew so I got two of those and then two of the bunny rabbits. I thought these were really cute. Oh, the price on the pineapples. I'm sorry, guys. I'm horrible. Four dollars. These were four dollars. The prices on the bunny, I'm going to tell you right now, it is six dollars. 
And they're super cute. They have a cottony tail, kind of burlap fabric and some ribbon lace right here. So these will definitely go in my DIYs for uh, next year for Easter and spring. And I got a lonely butterfly. I think I only got one of these. Um, it's kind of on a, it moves a lot, but I will be probably taking them apart and just using its metal, using just a butterfly, which was $5. I don't know if you guys can tell. It was $5. And I got this really pretty um, spring, and it was also five dollars. Sorry, guys, I had to make sure. Uh, and it's pretty. It's, it is missing a flower bed up here, but I mean, we always cut them apart, anyways. I've never. I don't believe I've ever used. I'm looking at all my floral decor there. I don't believe I've ever used a full spring on myself. I always take everything apart. So for me, I don't care. Got that one. Okay, guys, I'll be moving a little bit faster. I got one, one. Ah, I'm stuck. Okay, I got two bikes, six dollars each. Let's see, one in pink and one in blue, which is perfect because my daughter's oldest one is blue, her room, and the younger one is in pink. So I might just add these to their room decor. I thought these were really cute. Um, and I got more pink. I got the bike. Got another pink bike. And I got one lonely egg. He is a two dollars for this egg. He's cute. This egg is cute. I got a bird. Um, actually, I got more than just one. I got two birds. They were six dollars each. I don't know if you guys can tell the price. Six dollars each, uh, and these are all metal. Then I got a pinwheel. I don't know what the price is on this. It just says mini pinwheel. I don't know the price, but I thought it would look really cute for Fourth of July if I do like a red, red, white, and blue arrangement. I could probably insert this in there. And then I got a lonely orange flower. It's really pretty, so I'm definitely keeping this one. I really like it. And then I got these garlands, um, and I just completely love, love it. I don't love the fact that they're tangled in each other. I thought I'd separated them. There's, oh, it's right there. It's stuck right there. Okay. So I have this garland, and these were $12 each. I don't know if you guys can tell the price, but they're $12. It's really pretty pastel colors. It has pink flat, pink and yellow flowers with white flowers and some berries uh, and some greenery to it. And then I got, I believe two of these ones. They were all $12, right? Am I right? Yes, they were all $12. And this is called a coiled garland. I got two of the same kind. This one just unraveled in itself. But it has berries and these it has these kind of cabochons if you guys can see they're like yellow and a pink cabochons they have greeneries some berries and some acrylic berries right there that was really pretty for twelve dollars okay so this is why i actually purchased this box because the box was actually open in the store it was not closed like the normal boxes are so i took a sneak peek at it. I wanted to see what they have. And this garland caught my eye and I had been wanting it since it came out in the summertime, but I just could not justify six or $12 to pay for it. It is the um, lemon garland and it is $12. And it has these tiny little lemons and these little flowers with the berries, um, the greeneries. It was so pretty. And I wanted this for my um, table center that I did for the, for the um, summer. I did lemon theme. So I wanted these, couldn't find, well, I found it, but I couldn't justify spending the money for it. I got one for next year. I'm super excited about that. And then I got this house. I got more than one, I'm pretty sure. Um, it says welcome. The original price on this was $6 right there 
really pretty. I really like it. And then I got um, a, a pick of blue <laughs> blueberries. And these were $2. And I got a pick of Easter eggs. And these were $2 as well. I normally don't buy Easter eggs um, during Easter time from the craft stores. I just don't like them. Um, I don't like the foam feel of them. So, but since I got it in the $4 box, I'm just going to use it for next year. I'm not going to leave them alone. Then I got this one for $3. It's, it's like a yellow and green berry. Um, guys, I have a couple of videos coming up. I wanted to show you guys um, my outdoor decor and my indoor that I did for uh, summer. I know it's kind of late, but before I transition to fall, I just want to end up and close up summer projects, basically. So you guys could get inspired maybe for next year and you could do it. Um, some of this stuff you can actually also use during fall. So you can go either way. Uh, then I have these, it's just a spring stem at $7. They're two individual flowers. Two individual flowers, and they're very long stems. Pretty long. Uh, I do really like them. They actually would look really pretty on a wreath when I make a wreath. Then I have. I got a lot of lonely road uh, flowers in here. A little mini little rose, very pretty colors though. So I'm going to be doing a DIY with this, um, most likely for my daughter's room, because she, like I mentioned before, she has pink in her room, so I'm going to be doing it for that. So definitely subscribe to my channel, so that way you guys can know and keep on track of what I'm doing with all these little nicks and bits that I got from Fourth, from Fourth of July, from the four dollar grab boxes from Michaels. So stay tuned by subscribing, hit the notification button so you get notified every time I'm uploading a video, which will be fun, trust me. So, we'll move on to, oh, I don't even know if this is a haul, kind of haul. Then I got these little sprigs. These are, oh, just $10. How do I get, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's $10. They are actually really, really pretty. They're like little green and white berries with, if you can see the green and white berries, it has a pink, white kind of flowers with, some of them are actually not pink, they're peach color, so it's pretty, pretty much pink, peach, and white um, flowers with berries and a ton of green ones on the bottom. So I really like that. It will be fun. Oh. And I got this sad looking flower. He was $14 and I'm pretty sure he probably, she probably looked really pretty when she had all her clothes on. Right now she's kind of naked. She only has one berry that's broken, a couple of berries. I think I found one fell, oh yeah, there's one right here. It fell on the floor. I'm just gonna add it, attach it, oh, okay. Um, but I do love the greenery on this to create some arrangements for fall so I do love that really then I got two lonely flowers or leaves which is not bad oh I got another white pink pink fight now a lot of this stuff is going to be clinging together because they are actually all metal well okay the majority of them are metal there's one wooden piece I'll take it out right now and show it to you guys but a lot of them are metal pieces. So I got this um, bunny. Super duper cute. Really pretty for um, Easter. And he was $6. Oh, right there. I'm going to say he because he doesn't have a little bow. But he might go from a boy to a girl. Because I might add a bow to it and um, use it on the wreath for next or table arrangement, whichever one. And then I found this spool. This was $5. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's $5. It's a spool of 22 gauge wire. Now, I'm pretty sure this is considered floral because, it's, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's, it's 22 gauge wire, but I'm pretty sure it's floral wire. So, 
um, it's pretty good amount of wire and I do like it because I do a lot of jewelry making as well and sometimes I use the 22 gauge to do kind of um, cabochons and stuff in, on pendants so hard to explain I don't, I don't understand why I'm so tongue twisted today but anyway so I use a lot of this 22 gauge wire so I'm really happy I got a whole spool of it and it is Oh, 170 feet. That's a lot of wire. Oh, I got another. I got a gnome. He's so cute. His little flowers. So cute. $6. So, uh, not sure what I'm going to do with a lot of the um, fall decor, or I mean, uh, spring, summer decor that I'm getting. I'm, some of them I might donate, some of them I might actually keep which looks like majority of them I will. And I got a 2K, $5. Oh, my bad, 2K. Oh, sorry guys, that was backwards, my bad. And then I got, oh, I did get another butterfly, my bad. I thought I only had one, but I got two. I got two of them, two. Then I, per I got, Literally, I think they just dumped all of them in here because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Eleven of these Volkswagen bugs. I really do like them. I believe they're really, really cute. But seriously, I wasn't gonna do with all of these. So I have an idea in mind. Stay tuned for that. Um, not sure if it'll turn out good. Um, let's see. But I do have an idea in mind for these. Let's see how well it turns out. Because sometimes things that are in my mind don't always turn out the way I would like them to turn out. So let's see. Then I got another little knee egg for $2. You guys can go to Dollar Tree and purchase these too for a big pack of them and customize it yourself for $2. That's insane. Then I got these metal pinwheels. Okay, guys, I probably have at least 10 or 15 of them, and I am not clue what to do with these because um, there are a lot of pinwheels in here. I'll show it to you guys. Three, four, five, six. of these pinwheels now I have a request for you guys if you would leave me a comment below letting me know of ideas of what to do with these metal they're kind of picks and they're five dollars each oh, ridiculous um, of what to do with them I would really appreciate it just let me know in the comments below what would you guys uh, alter these or decorate with these use them for I have 15 of them and I got one hello spring. Okay, he doesn't want to stay straight. I'm just gonna hold him. Hello spring one, and this was three dollars. So I this is cute actually. I do really like that one. Hello spring. And uh, oh, I got two more piney pews. I did not realize that I had two more piney pews. And one more, I told you guys I had, I did receive one more of these. It was on the bottom of the box. Sorry. I think I got a package delivered and my dog is going ballistic over it. Oh. And then I got these metal little house picks um these are five dollars each and again i got about 10 to 15 one two three four 
13. Once again, please let me know what I can do with these birdhouses. Um, if I have to use them on a the wreath, I can only use so many before I'm running out of wreath space also to use them. So give me other ideas of them, um, using them on wreaths or home decors. I would really appreciate it, uh, such as maybe farmhouse style, shabby chic, um, things of that nature. Rustic, I really do like those styles. So please help the girl out and let me know what to do with approximately 30 pieces of metal. So, and again, I got more of the metal bird birdhouses. Oh, I don't know if I told you guys the price for the birdhouse. They were $5. If I did, I apologize. Otherwise, it's $5. This one was $6. Now, these I really do think they're cute. I don't know if you can tell, but they're right there. It's flat on the back, so you can actually lay it flat. Um, I think how many times I have one, two, I guess 13 is my lucky number. Um, I do have 13 of these little house thingies. Um, some, I do have an idea of a few of them, what I want to do with them and make them into cards. And I will definitely come and do a uh, card tutorial on my other channel, which is Heart for Art. Heart for Art home decor is strictly just home decorations. Heart for Art, um, this is the plain channel, which is Heart for Art, is um, going to be cards, jewelry, um, any kind of paper crafting tutorials. So do check out the other channel too. It's a lot of, I did upload a lot on that channel, over 100 videos or so. So um, this one, I just opened it just to kind of separate the two, to keep this one just for home decor and maybe hauls. And the other one is just strictly paper crafting and more like paper crafting hauls. So just to keep them separate from each other. Uh, but I will on my other channel, which is Heart for Art, come and show you guys how I use these um, to make maybe cards. I will be making uh, tags or anything of that nature. So stay tuned for that stuff. And please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel too. I would really appreciate that. Now, I'm not going to put all this back in there because it'll make a big, loud noise because it is all metal. So, hopefully without knocking you guys down, I'll move the box over. And I will start on the other box. Now, this box that I got, I was <laughs> I cheated a little bit. I looked through one of the bowls. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't mean to shake it. I cheated and I looked through the box, you know, when they're slightly open, you kind of do a peekaboo in there just to see what you're going to get. If you like the top layer, then you will purchase the box. If not, then you move on to the next one. And that kind of a thing. That's what I did here. So, I looked through it and the first thing I saw was, well, the top part was a, uh, I'll show you guys. It was this beauty. I mean, she is gorgeous very big in size i'm not sure it does not have a tag or anything so i wonder if it was one of their um you know they do their arrangements and everything and they sell them so i wonder if this was one of their arrangements and it just lost all its buddies and he's by himself now but it is a candle holder it is missing the handle which i really don't care because i would probably use uh either some floral wire and kind of make my own stem or whole uh, hanger or use um twine to make a hanger so depending on what i'm going to do i will be using this for my fall decor so stay tuned it will be on this channel my fall um home decor how i altered this guy up she was a beauty i loved her when i the minute i saw her but i didn't expect everything else in here so this was just more surprise for me this one was beautiful she is a gorgeous lady. 50 US dollars. Oh, I could have paid that. So is she, it's a little galvanized type of um, pitcher. Um, I want to say water pitcher. Pitcher. Water pitcher. Uh, I will be taking all this florals out because I don't really like the arrangement. Uh, I do love the pink on these flowers. They are amazing. They're a little too vibrant on camera. I don't know why. Maybe because the sun is coming, the light's coming from the front. Um, and it's really, really bright. 
but in real life they're a little bit more muted very pretty though i love it so i'll be using i'll be altering this to um do a different separate arrangement in here stay tuned and the other thing that i really like was this plain white one 30 us dollars oh go to dollar tree and grab one of these and do it diy so I really do like this arrangement. It's really, really pretty. Love the blues and the yellows. Also, I'll be taking it apart, dissecting it, and making um, a new one, new arrangement. The last arrangement that came in this was this one. Again, 30 US dollars. It's clear. It didn't have um, anything in it. It's just clear glass. So I am thinking, The leaves just fell. That's great. Um, I'm thinking I might be etching a little border around it with the, the armor etch and probably using it in my home decor somewhere. Daily home decor, not for all or anything. The only thing is this flower kind of creeps me out. Sorry, my hand. This one right here, I don't like it. It's just, I'm probably not going to use it. I'll just chuck it probably because it just kind of, I don't know, it just creeps me out. I don't like it. But I do love these ones. These other ones are beautiful. Look these ones, the berries and the little flowers and everything. This one just, uh, just scares me. So that is the end of that box. Let me just kick it to the side. And the next one, which I was also very happy. So these three boxes that I'm showing you guys right now, I was very happy with. The last one I was like, eh. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite box either. So I got this little fork pencil looking thing. Uh, this was $12. It's by Artmine. Um, or Artmines. I added the S before the, where it was supposed to go. Uh, I might alter it and maybe cover the whole thing up, probably with um, paper. Uh, scrapbooking paper and maybe create something else because I don't need a fork. Um, I have one of those ones by uh, uh, Hobby Lobby, the actual big ones. I have those so I don't have a use for this so I'm sorry. This will be altered. And then I actually do really like this one. It says um, dry goods and mer mercantile. Am I reading it correctly? Yes. It's backward in my area. So I got these two. Each were $14. Right there. So I'm probably going to leave these as is. And um, not sure what I'm going to do. But we'll see what my mind churns up for those. Then these tiny treasures, I believe. They're, yes. Tiny Treasures, they were $20. It's a little fairy house. I really like it. Uh, however, I'm a little bummed that it is cardboard because you won't be able to use this outdoors. And my fairy house that I made in a terracotta pot is sits outside on my table. So this unfortunately cannot join the other group. Um, I'm gonna probably end up making something for the indoors. We will see, or I might just donate it to one of the little girls in our community they want to know so i'm not sure but i think it's really really cute would i pay 20 dollars for it no not even 50 percent off it's just too much for it's just cardboard so but it's cute then this little bird feeder bird feeder where did i get bird feeder from yeah birdhouse that's weird because yeah it is a birdhouse See guys, I'm not going. I haven't lost my brain cells yet. It says right there, birdhouse. You guys see it? There. Okay. Twenty dollars. Yep. Red, white, and blue. Twenty dollars. Um, I do really like it for next year for my home decor. Uh, I'm not going to be using it as a bird birdhouse. I'm going to be using it inside my house um, as home decor. I really do like it. It's really really cute. And again, one of those uh, tiny treasure little guys. 
Um, this one was 12 US dollars. It's a little gate. So again, it's not, it's cardboard. These are real twigs. So uh, I might alter it and just take this part and put it on the wood so I can actually use it outside. I'm not sure. We'll see what I do with that. And uh, I got another pinwheel. I completely forgot about those pinwheels. Oh, good grief. Okay, so, and I got four, five more houses. Please help me and tell me what I should do with them. Um, I would really love to use it in my decor. I would like to alter it. I'm going to probably brainstorm some ideas to come up with something, but for now, please help me. And then this is a $5 pretty flower. I really like the colors. Uh, so love that. And then I got some florals. This is a $2. Um, really pretty. It's red. It's not as bright pink as it's coming up on the TV. Then I got, again, one of those other ones. Um, where is the price? Oh, it's $10 got it in the other box as well right there ten dollars and it has the peach the white and the pink flower they're not white actually yellow peach yellow and pink flowers with the berries and really pretty greenery this one does not have a price tag so I'm, i don't know how much it is really pretty arrangement i love the peaches in here the peach the yellow and the whites and the, pretty sure oh it does belong in there and some green trees and then i got another gnome my friend he found a friend of him oops and i just dropped something down and then i got these little uh, cactus thing six dollars us dollars um i don't know how i feel about it i'll probably use it in my daughter's room like she's having a cactus theme this was five dollars it's cute, but the hairy part just kind of creeps me out. Don't ask me why. Apparently a lot of things creep me out, so. Then I got this one for four dollars, right? Yes, it's four dollars. Really pretty blue and green um, leaves. Kind of blueberries. I would love to use these actually in card making. These would look really stunning on a card. Hmm, ideas. And then, this one just flew out of my hand. And then I, this one right here, six dollars. Really pretty flower arrangement. Beautiful arrangement, actually. Very pretty and delicate. And this is a rose. And then cactus, eight dollars U.S. dollars. Again, this is pretty. I do really like this one. The white. Um, so I'll probably make it in her room. And then again, one of those $2 really pretty red uh, flowers. He's missing, or she is missing some of her friends. Dang it, they're gone out. Um, this is $7. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm going to say berries. I don't know. I don't know my flowers that well. For $7, and it's really pretty berries. So it's pretty long, the stem is all twisted and knotted. Right there. And then, um, I did get another yellow pick for $3, I believe. Yep, $3, really cute. $3 again, this yellow and white um, arrangement. Concerning, don't know, kind of random. Another random thing. Um, and then this was $2, again, that little really, really pretty coral color. It's not red, it's coral. Um, then I got the Push uh, for $10. And it says Push. Um, so these next two items are one of my favorite items. They are pretty heavy and I really, really love them. 
It's $22 and it is again a bird feed. But look at that, it is gorgeous. It is stunning, I love it. All of this pattern, it's um, actually 3D, it's patterned. And this is kind of like a cement feel to it um, and a little wooden bird, bird stand. So this will definitely go in my home decor. I love it. And then these two, I was actually really surprised because they are glass and they survived the box. Um, they were 10 US dollars. Let me see if you guys can yeah. 10 US dollars. And look at them. They are marbling. Beautiful plates. Gorgeous. This blue one is phenomenal. I love it. It is so, so stunningly pretty. The red one as well is really, really pretty. I really like these two plates. So that is for box number three. Um, I'm just gonna make room, a little bit of room for the other ones. These plates, I'm gonna actually keep them to the side because I'm afraid that they will break and I will not be putting the metal pieces again because they will clean clang everywhere. Uh, just gonna try not to knock you guys down and move the box to the side. I'm watching the camera so I will knock you guys down. And this is my final box. Um, I'm not sure if I will be going back for some more. Um, I first need to figure out what I'm keeping, what I'm donating, what I'm doing with what I have. And then uh, if I feel the need to go, I will be going back. So they might or might not be a part two to this. I'm not sure. Uh, I was very tempted actually to go this morning after I dropped my kids off at school. I was tempted to go straight to my kitchen. And I was like, nope, go back home. So I came home. So, um, but we'll see. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Uh, this box was kind of a sad box because I think they just threw things in here um, with no rhyme or reason. This was really pretty flowers. Which I'm kind of surprised because these are, they say fall. I wonder if they're fall from last year. No, it says 2019 fall. I don't know how this ended up in this box. But a very, very pretty color. It's kind of a deep burgundy red, not that bright red. I don't know why the colors are not coming up, but you guys see it says right there fall, $5. Five, two, two dollars. Actually, I don't know my numbers. My no. Right there. So, I don't know what happened. Then I got a lonely little sprig from somewhere. It's actually really pretty greenery. And then I got two picks. They are two dollars each. Oh. Two dollars each. They are two. They are intertwined with some gold thread. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. There's some gold. I have to clip all this and an extra leaf. So it's kind of dangly down here. I have to figure that one out later. And then this little arrangement. It's really, really pretty. I know I saw the price somewhere over here. It's $20 right there. I really do like this arrangement. I will be taking it apart though and using bits and pieces in other projects. Love the colors, the whites and the blues and the yellows and the greenery. They have a ton of greeneries in here. So it's for uh, home decor. Then, guys, you should see my living room's a little mess, or my great room. And then I have this really pretty flower, but it doesn't have a price on it. And I don't know if it, it looks like it came from somewhere, like it, it had a family. It got lost. It's a really, really sad story. Okay. And then this one was three US dollars. Um, really pretty. Uh, and I don't know if that is belongs to this because it just looks kind of naked right here so i'm gonna say it might be part of this really pretty yellows and whites i love it for next year same with this lonely little guy don't have a home don't have a home either and this says it was on clearance for 249 i don't know the original price because it doesn't have it and it's a silk rose really pretty love the silk rose and then I was actually very happy to get the olive branch because I have been eyeing this and I 
just couldn't buy it buy because it it's so skinny. It was $4, not even for $2 would I buy this. Um, but since it came in the box, hey, I don't mind. I like it. It has, it's an olive tree leaf kind of thing. Again, missing a lot of things. It's the same one like the other box had, the blue, I mean the coral colors. And, oh, I got a lot of the coral colors right here, another one. It was two dollars. Maybe you guys can see that. And lonely little guy. No home. We'll find a home for him. Hmm. That was not good. Let me see if this frame. Uh, this one was five dollars. It's the red, white, and blue collection. I really love their red and white flowers. They're really pretty. Then I got this little guy. It's so cute. Look at that little flag adorable so it was five dollars as well next year fourth of july i'll be using these love it and then for whatever reason i got two random metal things which i'm keeping because i usually you know bend them and make them into shapes and stuff so i don't mind and then i got this i really wish it was not an r my last name does not start with an r i don't know anybody Whose last name do I? No, I actually don't know anybody's name who would start with an R, so I might alter it and sell it, go put it on my one of my craft fairs, or I'll just donate it, depending on what I feel like doing. It's not very heavy, so I'm pretty sure I can do something with it, um, but we'll just have to wait and see what I'm gonna do with it. Breaking things. This was a can't find I love this I actually did not even see this when Michael's had it on there but it's $18 regular price they are little shell looking um, muffin tin but I really like it this is gonna go um, in my kitchen with my home decor and I absolutely love it I'm in love with this sorry guys if you would just see my area it would, it's a mess this is the other thing I got. It says home, um, twelve dollars, and it it's it looks like it is cement, but it is not. It's very lightweight. It is not cement at all. So I love that. That's gonna go in my everyday decor in my house. Now, the other two. I'm trying to hurry up now, guys, because it's forty two minutes into this video. Homemade, and it says love what you do. Really pretty signs. Uh, this one doesn't have a tag, but this one says $6. So I'm going to go with they both are $6. They are kind of maybe cementy, but they're not very heavy. So I really like that about them. Um, then I got a Coke bottle, or look-alike Coke look -alike bottle, for $6 right there. I love it. I will be doing something with it uh, for my basement because uh, my basement is kind of a vintage Coca-Cola movie theme downstairs. So that'll definitely come in handy. This one says, congrats, grad. My daughter is going to be in eighth grade next year. So I'll probably end up using this for something for her. She's graduating eighth grade for like a little arrangement for her room, just for her. Nothing fancy. It is only eighth grade. And the candle melts wax what is this wax melts not candle melts wax melts in camellia and sweet pea four dollars um and smells adorable i love the smell of this thing it smells really really good i got some silicone molds they are three of them right there in the star shape not sure what i'm gonna do with these um I might try that crayon art that's out right now, not crayon art, crayon molds where you melt a ton of crayons and you do them. We have a ton of crayons in this house. I seriously think I could have a crayon factory with the amount of crayons we have. So I do love this, really pretty. Original price was $5, love that. Then I got a little cactus mat, $10, insane guys. $10 for cactus mat. I am kind of sad though it is missing 
a couple of them here. Um, but what I'll probably end up doing is tearing it apart, taking it all apart, and making something for my daughter's room because she's doing cactus thing. And then I'm really not into uh, this kind of decor, so I will most likely be ending up donating them. Are these little foam spongy thingies, the foam rockets for Fourth of July, and these little sparkles with these uh, I don't know what this material is called nylon no rayon rayon I don't know what these are called they're all picks um, I don't know what the material is but I do not like this material at all I can't stand it it looks really cheap to me that's my opinion don't knock me for my opinion um, so I probably will end up donating all these I'm not interested in them um, however this is adorable. It is a little pick. I don't know the price. It doesn't have one. Um, it looks like it came from somewhere, from a piece. It is metal. So I will be using this for my 4th of July decor next year. I'll be working on a project with that. Not sure yet, but I'll definitely come up with something. Um, and I, again, I got these little pinwheels. They are actually heart plastic. They are not uh, paper or so I think they will withstand the weather outside. So I might do a little decor piece with three of them for next year, 4th of July. I do like them. The other pet peeve of mine is these styrofoam ornament thingies. I don't like these. Um, I don't like decor decorating with them. Um, I don't like a lot of glittery stuff, so this is not up my alley. Um, I either will be donating them or using them to create arrangements because you can poke, like they're styrofoam. So you could probably poke things and repurpose. So instead of buying styrofoam, I could just repurpose what I have. So I'll probably end up doing this. Uh, with, probably end up using that for, with the styrofoam. And then I got five of these. This is the largest one I got. It's a dog collar. Adorable 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 however it does not fit my dog's neck i don't know if you guys have seen my previous videos i do own i don't own him he's my baby um a german shepherd so we have a german shepherd and he's a big guy he's not a small guy he's pretty big and i this won't fit his neck there is no way this will fit his neck even though it's elastic he will probably get mad at mommy for putting this on him but I'm thinking I will repurpose these and make them into little headbands for my daughters uh, for 4th of July. So I got one of these and I got one of these, which is adorable. So I might actually convert this into a scrunchy looking thing so my daughter can wear it on her wrist. Risk. Wrist. I really like that. And I got one of these kind with the little tassel bow thingies on the bottom. Adorable. I love it. And I got two of these. So, I might end up doing a DIY with those. And I got a ton of these stickers. They are two different types, but these are face stickers from Canada Day. I mean, United States. Canada Day. That one and these I do know what I'm going to probably end up doing with them is when, when I need cards or home decor and I'm going to add up that splash of bling just a tad bit. I can always take these apart and use them. They are very, very pretty. I do really like these ones. So I got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen of these. And I got some candy mix, which is great because the kids can use it for Christmas time. Then I got this one, which is supposed to say Home of the Brave, straight, not upside down. This one says Home of the Brave, and then this is the stars. Um, so, really cute, adorable. Love it for paper crafting. And then I got eight Canadian flags. Um, one says True North, one says Canada. Uh, so it's true north in Canada basically what I got 
It is a 14 US dollars. So right there, 14. These are garden flags, which I know are pretty big in size. So not sure what to do with these. Either donate them or do a DIY with them. So if you guys could also leave me a comment down below letting me know what would you do with these garden flags. Uh, since fall is coming, it's right around the corner. I could probably do a um, fall DIY by cutting out the leaves or something. Let me know in the comments below. Please let me know. Because I have 14 of those. And then I got, again, two of these styrofoam stars, three of these styrofoam hearts, and a ton of beads. So. I'm not mad at this because this year my Christmas theme is going to be Winter Wonderland. So it's going to be kind of a red, I mean, sorry, white, silver, and blue theme. So I love these beads. Uh, I got three of the white ones, which I don't mind at all. Uh, these maple leaves, I'm going to probably DIY them in a um, fall project. Maybe do create a small wreath for my um, mirror in my uh, dining room. So, I'm not mad at that. I love those beads. And then I got the same in um, red. I don't know if I told you guys the price. They're five dollars each. So, got them in red, which I'm probably going to leave red. And then maybe the following year or so, I can use these beads for my tree and um, uh, Christmas decor. And then I got one, two, three, four. Four of these ones. These were um, $5 as well in price. Two silver and one red beads. Not mad at this. I could definitely use these for Christmas. So this is a go. I like that. And I believe I'm moving around. And I believe that concludes my... Um, $4 grab bag grab boxes from Michaels. I hope you guys enjoyed the video I do understand it was very long because as I was showing you guys the item I was letting you guys know if I was going to keep it do a DIY and um, or my thoughts and ideas on things so I did ask you guys if you could please let me know what to do with the bird cage and um, Sorry, actually, you know what? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it if you do. The birdhouse, the metal birdhouse, the pinwheel, and the Canadian flag. Please let me know what ideas you guys come up with because I know there are a ton of creative people out there um, who are probably more creative than I am. So, um, and also please do not forget to subscribe, like this video because it helps me, um, helps my channel grow. So please do hit the thumbs up for it. And let me know in the comments below what you do with those ideas. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to my other channel, which is Heart for Art. And I will talk to you guys in my next. So take care. See you. Bye.